What's up guys, your boy Connor. We're doing a walk around of the bike, some of the things that are on here. It's been a while since I've done one, just pretty much a couple of the things that we have done to the bike. We're going to start here in the front, work our way to the back. We have the Memphis Shades Road Warrior fairing. This is the 15 inch in dark smoke. Paired with the handlebars behind it is going to be the Lucky Dave's Lucky 13 in 13 inches. We still have stock tubes, stock springs. We did change out the front to a Dunlop D401. This is the second tire. I had the white walls initially, decided to go away. I do like the Dunlop tires. Recently went with the 591 in the rear. It is a lot stickier tire. We will eventually pair the front as well with a 591. I was just curious on life of the tire. Here up front, we swapped out from the Bun King crash bar to the Speed King's hoop crash bar. No real reason aside from aesthetics. Just thought this one looked a little cleaner. We have ABS and all the LED light paired up here all through there. There's the back of the Memphis Shades Road Warrior fairing. It's got the brackets. With these brackets, should you go with the different fairings, should you have the gauntlet and want to go Road Warrior or vice versa, you can keep these same brackets and all you would do is just have the fairing with the existing docking hardware with the quick release and you simply just swap them out in a matter of minutes. So on this side, we went ahead and paired. We have the Flow Motorsports foot peg. This is the MX. I believe it's the version 1. And then we have the shifter peg to match it. We have the Alloy Arts shift linkage. We went with the gold. And then a simple $8 upgrade is going to be the Screaming Eagle spark plug wires. Went with red just to kind of change up the accent. Now moving on, we have the Lucky Dave's tuck and roll with the gripper material paired with gray. The only thing we changed out is the bars. We have the ram mount up here. For your phone great one we have the san diego customs bar bag that's pretty much it for the front and when we lifted it the rear two inches we also went with these plugs the fork extensions to kind of give a little more height in the front everything else here is stock still have the stock gas cap stock fuel gauge stock leds as for the rear I stated earlier, the bunking sliders, these are the 6 inch option, paired with the Hagon Nitro shocks in 14.2 inches, gives you that nice little gap between the fender and the tire. The rear tire is going to be the Dunlop K591, paired with the 401 in the front. Once the front wears out, we will go with 591 in the front as well. For stock rotors, stock wheels. We did change out the clutch. We have a DP brakes clutch as well as DP brakes brakes. The rear is going to be a Connolly's full fender. It is fiberglass. As for the tail light, it is the Harley Davidson LED tail light. We do have custom dynamics inside the turn signals and the headlamp is Harley's Daymaker. <laughs> 